Ho, 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 hey there, you big nerds. I'm Whitney Warren. To get you into the holiday spirit, I'm gonna tell you all about the best versions of Santa, but with a little nerdy twist, of course. Santa is a paragon of pop culture, so it makes sense that he'd be featured in a lot of video games and comic books. So strap on your jingle bells, deck those damn halls, and let's get right into it. In no particular order, here are the 10 best Santas in pop culture. Number 10, Klaus. So I wanna start with my favorite version of Santa ever, and also one of the most recent ones on the list. Grant Morrison's Klaus tells the story of Saint Nick in only a way that Grant Morrison can, which is violent, hilarious, and trippy as hell. Think of Santa as more of a badass Viking warrior than that jolly old fat guy you know and love. The less you know going into this comic book, the better, and it's only a six issue miniseries, so you really have no excuse not to pick it up come December. All you need to know is that it's basically a superhero origin story, and Klaus is a total babe. Like, really, a babe. Number nine, Marvel Santa. One of the great things about Marvel and DC is they've been doing this for so long, they've tried all sorts of wacky shit. So it's not surprising that we would get a version of Santa who is is not only a mutant in Marvel canon, but also the most powerful mutant ever detected according to Cerebro. And he's a total badass too. He transformed the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants into Christmas toys, scared an imposter Santa straight about crime with Spidey, became a detective and fell in love with She-Hulk, and once sold his entire franchise to Hydra. And that's not even half the stuff Santa's done in Marvel comics. Number eight, DC Santa. So since we've covered Marvel Santa, we gotta look at DC's version and see how they stack up. And DC's take is... Let's say a lot darker. In Lobo paramilitary Christmas special, Santa goes by the name of Chris Crusher Kringle and is a merciless slave owner who forces his malnourished army of worker elves to work in a sweatshop. Lobo decapitates him because it's Lobo and of course, man, Lobo is so metal. Number seven, Rise of the Guardians. Rise of the Guardians was considered a critical miss by DreamWorks animation standards, but it was way underappreciated in my book. If you haven't seen it, it's a cute little animated movie about all the mythical holiday creatures banding together to fight an evil spirit on Earth and Santa, known as North in the movie, just happens to be played by Alec Baldwin. You might not know though, because this version of Saint Nick packs a thick Russian accent. Also, he is all tatted up and a master swordsman. But I really wanted to put him on the list because he really captures the spirit of Santa. He's jolly, excitable, and just has a little kiss of mischief. Go see it. Number six, Great Father Winter in Warcraft. If you've ever sunk long hours playing World of Warcraft, you know that you can find Saint Nick, known here as Great Father Winter, in the dwarven city of Ironforge. You can only find him during the Feast of Wintervale, but when you do, he bestows a very important quest on you. Bring Santa some tasty snacks. That's pretty much exactly what I would do if I had that kind of power. Also related, if you'd like to send me, Whitney, some snacks, go to the SourceFed subreddit for our P.O. box. I'll plug. Number five, Robot Santa from Futurama. Futurama is one of my all-time favorite shows. It's equal parts sci-fi hilarity, biting satire, and more emotions than you would ever expect to be in a show like that. The show features a bevy, a bevy of pop culture figureheads. In fact, some of of them are actually just literal heads. So of course they have to have a Santa. Robot Santa is a real bad bot due to a programming error that sets the standards way too high for being good. So he basically goes around punishing people for being on his naughty list. How does he punish them, you ask? Well, he chops off their head and stuffs their neck hole with toys, of course. <laughs> Number four, Tim Allen in the Santa Claus. Okay, hear me out with this one. It's not nerdy, but just hear me out. First off, Tim Allen is a goddamn national treasure and pretty much one of my only favorite childhood comedians that hasn't turned out to be a total creep yet, fingers crossed. But the actual story of the Santa Claus is fucking bononkers if you think about it. The person who kills Santa becomes Santa. Sure, it's not a perfect movie. Maybe some of you heathens out there would say that it's bad. But honestly, I'm sort of in love with the idea that there's a movie that exists where a sitcom actor absorbs all the powers of Santa after he accidentally pushes him off the roof. <laughs> Santa! killed him. Did not. Number three, Sam and Max. For those of you youngins who are unfamiliar with the Sam and Max franchise, it was this great comic book turned video game turned TV show about two vigilante private investigators. Sam, who is a dog, and Max, who is a little bunny. They are total maniacs, and the video games by Telltale were super fun point and click adventures. There's an episode called Ice Station Santa, and like a lot of Santas on this list, he's not exactly one of the good guys. He sees you when you're sleeping, he knows when you're awake, and he also packs a machine gun too. As Sam affectionately says he's a hairy, bloated pagan god. If you're a fan of the Sam and Max games, definitely scoop this one up to get you into the holiday spirit. Number two, Clay Fighter 63 and a half. Oh man, do you guys remember Clay Fighter? It was this crazy claymation fighting game for the N64 where you can face off as a number of vaguely racist characters and also a naked Santa. Sumo Santa uses his girth to wiggle around and smush you real bad. And seeing his sweaty rolls in stunning 64-bit clay is truly a sight to behold. If you haven't played it, 
Honestly, it's not that great of a game, but hey, Naked Santa! Number one, The Night of the Meek. This list has been in mostly random order, but I had to give the number one slot to something I feel deserves the title, and that's the Santa from the Twilight Zone episode, The Night of the Meek. The episode features a down and out rent a Santa named Henry Corwin who shows up drunk to work and gets fired. I won't spoil the episode for you, but he does find a magical item that's positively filled with the Christmas spirit. But like in every episode, when the Twilight Zone gifts you with something, it's not always what it seems to be. Guys, I love the Twilight Zone so much. Go watch it. And that's the whole list. You've been a very good boy or girl if you've stuck around this long. Also, the Christmas special of Black Mirror doesn't have a Santa in it, but you should watch it anyways because it's fantastic. Let me know if I missed any of your favorite Santas, and I'll see you next time.